This is great for the under eyes. Pack it on. Under the eye, just pack it on. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a very quick and easy facial mask using just a very simple ingredient. However, these ingredients are very effective in lightening and brightening the skin. They're known to get rid of the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin and they're also loaded with antioxidant that will give your skin a fresh looking glow. Basically a younger look after just a couple of minutes of wearing this facial mask. So if you're interested in today's video continue on we'll take a look at what I have here I have tomato and I'm using tomato in this recipe because tomato benefit the skin by increasing fairness balancing the pH tightening the pores treating sunburn reducing irritation and even curing acne the tomato juice is beneficial to maintain healthy skin as well as take care of minor skin issues so if you have spots and blemishes on the skin if you have acne scars just pimple if you're looking to lighten and brighten the skin this is one natural ingredient that will help with all of those skin issues now our next ingredient is oatmeal and oatmeal is also a great exfoliator for your skin now it will have to slush off the dead skin cell but I'm using oatmeal in this recipe as a skin tightener what the oatmeal is gonna do is gonna tighten and firm and lift that skin so you're basically getting a complete facial in this facial mask now our next ingredient is, is coconut oil coconut oil is moisturizing it will have to seal that moisture in the skin and leave your skin bright and supple coconut oil also have properties that will help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes now take a look at the final ingredient and this is dried orange peel now why dried orange peel dried orange peel is loaded with vitamin c and vitamin c is another wonderful antioxidant for the skin that is going to clear the skin of spots and blemishes it will help the skin to look just clean clear and when mixed with the other ingredients just bright supple and radiant now if you do not have dried orange peel you can choose to buy the powder they do have it selling and I will list a link in the description box below now here I already have some of the powder which I blend my dry orange peel to a powder you can choose to blend it and you can keep it in your refrigerator for up to six months it will not go bad now I still will have to do some blending since I will be blending both the oatmeal and the tomato. So to begin, let me blend the dry ingredient first. So I'm going to blend about a, a cup of oatmeal. This you can also blend and store in your refrigerator. And here we have our a blended oatmeal. Now moving on to our tomato, I'm going to use a half of a medium tomato, so I'm just going to cut and I'm also going to be blending the tomato. I'm going to chop my tomato for blending. If you have a more powerful blender, just place it in your blender and blend. Now do not add any water to this, just blend as is. So here we have our blended tomato and let's pour this out and this is it. So now we're going to put this together. Now let's go over our ingredients. We have our tomato puree right here. We have our blended oatmeal. We have our orange peel powder and we also have some coconut oil. Now this amount I'm making is good for one use. If you want to make more, double up on the ingredient. I'm using one tablespoon of our blended oatmeal, which is 15 ml. I am using a half a teaspoon of the dried orange peel, and that is 2.5 ml. 
half a teaspoon pour that in now I'm just gonna blend the dry ingredient together you can also choose to make this batch and store it in your refrigerator with the boat ingredient and now that is mixed together I'm moving on I'm using one tablespoon of our tomato puree to begin with and for the coconut oil I'm going in with a half a teaspoon which is 2.5 ml you do not need a lot of oil in this and then I'm just gonna blend now if it's too thick we'll add a little bit more of the tomato but let's start and see how it is so we're just gonna mix this well and this is actually very good this is exactly how we want this mask you do not want it to be runny you want it to be as thick as this so that it goes on pretty easy and here we have it our skin lightening tightening firming facial mask and now I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome facial mask for best result you can store this facial mask in your refrigerator for about seven days when you're ready to use it if it's a little bit too thick just go ahead and add a little bit more tomato juice to it all right so here we have our facial mask and to use the facial mask you want to just start with clean skin so you're going to wash your face the way you normally wash your face get rid of all the grease all the dirt from your face exfoliate your face if you have to and then you apply the facial mask now this facial mask can be used two to three times per week for best result and you could store the leftovers in the refrigerator when you take it out to use it it's a little dry just had another teaspoon or another tablespoon of the tomato juice now I'm gonna use my hands to apply this mask because it's tend to go faster than if I use a brush so what I do I just take the mask and I put it in my hands like this and then I just apply it to my face in a circular motion this is one mask that is good to apply as if you're using a scrub so just apply the mask in circular motion on your skin don't forget the upper lips your nose if you have large pores cover it up this is great for the under eyes pack it on under the eyes just pack it on for your forehead wrinkles and fine lines pack it on make sure you cover those wrinkles with it for best result and now that your face is completely covered with the facial mask what do you want to do you want to just relax with this for at least 30 minutes after 30 minutes the mask is gonna be a little dry on the skin not completely dry but you're gonna feel the tightness on the skin 15 or so minutes into it you're gonna feel this mask just grabbing on your skin not to worry that is the facial mask working that is the facial mask boots in the collagen production plumping your skin getting rid of the wrinkles and fine lines so sit with it 30 minutes and then you're gonna rinse off preferably with a little warm water room temperature to warm water then you're gonna pat dry the skin apply your favorite facial toner spritz it on whatever facial toner you use I will list one in the description box below my natural homemade facial toner and after you do that let it dry on the skin and then you apply your favorite serum your favorite moisturizer and as I said earlier on use this two to three times per week for best results so give it a go guys give it a go really wonderful so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up share the video and leave your comments and if this was the first time watching look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and I'll see you in my next video bye bye